In time this week, the chief has had to address allegations of police brutality. Team 12's Charlie Etsidi is live outside of Mesa Police Headquarters. And Charlie, we hear the chief made several big announcements. Well, Chief Ramon Batista says two outside agencies will be conducting the in independent investigations into both of these incidents. And he also mentioned that he's bringing on board a very prominent name in Arizona law enforcement to help assist and oversee both of these investigations. I'm angry and I'm deeply disappointed by what I saw in those videos. Two separate incidents in the month of May now coming to light has thrust Mesa Chief of Police Ramon Batista and the entire department into the national spotlight and the focus of intense scrutiny for the officer tactics shown in the videos. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you we will fix this. So far, seven Mesa police officers connected to the incidents have been put on paid administrative leave, but some in the community are demanding further action, suggesting the problem of use of force goes beyond just those officers. Attorney Benjamin Taylor is representing the 35 year old man seen being punched in one of the videos. Um, if you don't clean up your culture, this has been going on for years. When's it going to stop? And they've been saying they're going to clean it up for years. So hopefully the, the new chief does something about it. Chief Batista announced the National Police Executive Forum will be conducting an investigation into the department's use of force over the past three years. The organization focuses on reforming policies and also implementing change when it comes to use of force. And former Maricopa County Attorney Rick Romley will be assisting with that investigation, as he says, to ensure thoroughness and objectivity. These changes are expected to start immediately, but leaders Leadership with the Mesa Police Union says some officers are not happy with this direction. We're getting the, the information uh, to us that our officers feel as they're not supported, that uh, just perception of the department looking bad uh, supersedes their safety. And we just learned that the Scottsdale Police Department will be handling the investigation into both of the incidents that happened a couple weeks ago in May. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to hear more from Rick Romley and get his thoughts on what needs to happen with both of these investigations. We're live from Mesa, Charlie Etzidi, 12 News.